Hey everyone, I'm Norm from North Brothers. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this with just one light. It can be so frustrating to think about all the things you could do if you only had a gear. I know the feeling all too well. But it doesn't have to stop you. Filmmaking and photography were literally built on ingenuity. For this shoot, I used the Amaran MW from Aperture, but I could have just as easily used this dollar store flashlight or even the flashlight on my phone. Let's head on over to the setup. So the first thing I'm gonna do now that we're all set up is just take a couple shots of the front label. I wanna get the whole thing lit and then I can merge it together in Photoshop afterward. All right, now that we've got the label, the next thing I want to do is get some side lighting. I just want to create a rim of light. So I'm going to have my nice baseline. So that nice crisp white line there, that's that's what we're looking for. And then we head over to the other side. So we're doing the same thing on this side. Great. Now we've got that done. Put a piece of diffusion over my light. Just like before, I'll be snapping my up the bottle and putting this together in Photoshop. The last thing we need to do is we're gonna change our focus up just a little bit and we wanna bring the top of the bottle into focus, specifically the cap. Now that I have the top of the bottle in focus here, what we're looking for is to get maximum detail in the cap. We don't want it to wash out or look flat. And finally, the first or last thing I wanna do is get one shot with no light at all. So I'm gonna put the light out now and take that shot and that'll be our background. Now we're gonna head over to post. Grab your photos, throw it in your computer, pop into the Lightroom, and here we're gonna make a few adjustments before we send it up to Photoshop for the real magic. We're gonna do this one step at a time. Each set of photos is gonna build a different part of the finished product. The first set is the label, so we don't have to worry about anything else except for making the label look good. Our second and third sets are the side rim lights. We don't need anything in this picture except for that nice crisp white line down the sides of the bottle. The fourth set's the backlighting. Here we're looking for the nice glow to come through the bottle. We want it to be nice and warm, we want it to be inviting. We don't have to worry about anything else in the picture. Our fifth and final set of photos focus on the cap. You guessed it, nothing else in the photo matters. Here, just like in the hair light, you want that nice crisp white and black contrast of the cap. When you're done your touch-ups, you're gonna select one group of photos at a time as well as your black backdrop. You're gonna right click, edit in, Adobe Photoshop. Now that we have our touched up label photos up into Photoshop, we're gonna start smashing them together. So you can see the touched up versions of the ones I have done are this one, this guy, and this one. This black background will be our base layer, and we're gonna lock that just so we don't mess anything up by accident. So now I'm gonna start taking the other images and dropping it onto the background layer. Start over here, Control C or Command C on a Mac to copy it. Bring it out over here, Control or Command V pops it in. We're gonna repeat the process for the other two photos. Now these are all together. We're gonna to change the blend mode of all three of them to lighten. Once those are lightened, you can see we're left with a nice crisp label that pops. That's exactly what we want. In the interest of playing it safe, we're gonna save it at each of the stages. I like to save it when I have everything blended. I like to save it again when I merge them and a final separate save when I've isolated the element that I'm working on. Now that we have all the photos stacked, we're gonna merge them so that we can isolate the label. Go ahead and select layers one through three, merge layers. Hit W to grab our quick select tool and we only want to select the label here. Here, get a little closer and make sure you do have everything. Down here, we're missing just a little corner so we can use a left bracket to make this a little smaller. Give that a click. Now, we've selected the label, but we don't want the label. So we're gonna invert that selection, which is Control Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac and hit delete. Everything's gone. And you see we hide the background. All we have is label. Control D to deselect your selection. Now, I like what I've captured here. So now I can go ahead and save again. The next set of photos is for our left rim light and we're gonna layer and blend those together the same way we did with our label. So just like before, select all of them, change the blend mode to lighten. And there we have our left rim light. So you might have guessed, time to save. Once that's saved, we're gonna select all of our layers except for the background. Right click and we're gonna merge layers again. Now to isolate the rim light in this comp, we're going to make sure we have the right layer selected. We're gonna hit E, which pulls up the eraser. You wanna make sure you don't have any weird artifacts kicking around where you don't want them. And now with a much finer tool, I'll zoom in. I touch up any fragments that are closer to me. All these little bumps and lines will take away from us having a nice clean finish. All right, now after removing everything, this is what we're left with. Nice, clean, crisp line profiling the whole left side of the bottle, which 
which is just gonna look so nice. And now you'll repeat the process for the right side and you'll end up with something a little bit like this. So now we have both profiles done. Again, isolating the cap is the same process, except you're gonna be racing a different part of it. I'm not gonna waste your time with that. You'll end up with something similar to this. So instead, let's move on to the backlight. We're gonna layer and blend the background composition, the same as we have for every other component we have done so far. All right, you guessed it. We're gonna go ahead and save this. Now that that's saved, pop those together once again, merge those layers, make sure you have the right layer selected, grab the quick select tool, which is W on your keyboard, and we're gonna select the bottle itself, invert that selection and get rid of it. Don't want it. I wanna do two things to this before I go on to the next step. First thing I wanna do is get rid of this label. You might've noticed it's not quite straight. I wanna put a straightened version of that on from the other comp that we made earlier. And I just want a nice clean canvas to put that on. So we're gonna get rid of this label by using content aware fill. Now that we have that selected, shift F5. We want, it, we want the contents to be content aware. All this is what we want. Hit okay, it's gonna do its magic. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this small area here and most of this blurring doesn't really matter. This is good enough for our purposes because we're gonna have a label slapped on there. That means this kind of weird swirling stuff that I wouldn't normally like is just dandy because this is gonna be covered up. All right, now for this last bit, what I can do here is use the eraser tool. Now I just want to take this edge just enough to get rid of that brightness from that backlight. And we're done erasing, it's going to look a little something like this. Now we're ready to put all of it together. Now the beautiful part, we're going to make a composition out of all, all the compositions we've made so far. So let's start with this backlit bottle. Let's go ahead and throw the label on first. Control or Command C to copy that, pop that on. Doesn't quite land in the right spot. That's okay. We know where we want it. Now this is a good time to go ahead and fix this. Now we're going to have to fix the top and bottom independently. So what I'm going to do here is duplicate this layer. And we'll call one top and we'll call the other one bottom label because I am feeling sassy. Let's hide everything except for the top layer. Grab the eraser brush, erase the bottom layer. Now we'll hide the top layer. We have both parts of the label will act independently, which is good because the bottom looks like it's a-okay. All right, so now we're going to straighten the top label. Seems like the right side of the label needs to come down. Make sure we select one of the movement points on the image and you can right click it and we'll hit skew and we want the whole right side to move so we're going to select this middle guy bring him down just a bit we're all set there let's bring the cap into the mix shall we there we are that's about where we want that this guy bring him into our composition that's hugging the edge pretty well get that left profile bring it on in as well now it's starting to take shape. So I'm gonna duplicate the left and the right. I wanna bring it in right about there. That doesn't look great, does it? That's okay. So we're going to apply a Gaussian blur to each of these. Uh, and that's a bit too much. I want the outside to be looking soft, but still crisp. We'll do the exact same thing. The left side one. Now to the inner ones, we want that to be a lot softer. So we're gonna do that for the right inner and the left inner. The way this light looks like it's reflecting off the label doesn't quite look natural. So we're gonna tone down the shine on those streaks of light. So let's grab our blur tool and we'll make sure we have the correct layer selected. We want the left inner and the right inner in turn. Couple of smooth strokes down this guy here. Really sell the blur. I'm gonna switch over to the right inner and do the exact same thing. From here, you just have a bit more fine tuning to taste and you're all set. That's it for today, folks. If you liked what you saw here today, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when we put up new content. And if you have a tutorial you'd like to see, let us know in the comments and we'd love to take a peek. Until next time. <laughs> you shall bow to me. Too bright. That is too bright.